Arrival was my personal favorite film of 2016, and it deserves all the high praise it got because, like any great piece of science fiction, it uses alien and otherworldly circumstances to better contrast what it means to be human. This theme is prevalent in science fiction classics such as Blade Runner, Star Trek, Ghost in the Shell, and The Matrix. Commerce is our goal here at Tyrell. More human than human is our motto. And that is what it is to be human. To make yourself more than you are. Hope. It is the quintessential human delusion, simultaneously the source of your greatest strength and your greatest weakness. Arrival is based on the 1998 short story by Ted Chiang called Story of Your Life, and I can tell you that Arrival is a much better piece of science fiction than the work it's based on, because it tells a much more human story. But in order to tell that story, Arrival had to break a few rules. So let me break it down quickly so that we're all on the same page. This is how Arrival ended. With China about to open fire on their heptapod ship, Louise experiences the future, where in General Shang tells her how she managed to convince him to stand down. He tells Louise how she called him, and told him his wife's dying words. Finally, he tells Louise his cell phone number and tells her what those words were. Louise then uses that information in the film's present to call General Shang and convinces him to stand down. So let's think about this for a second. Whose idea was it to call the general? It couldn't have been Luis's idea, because in the future, the general supplies her with the information she needed in order to make the call. And he straight up tells her step by step what she did and how she did it. You told me my wife's dying words. But it wasn't the general's idea either, because from his perspective, Luis had already called him in the past, he's just telling her about it. But if that's true, then where did the idea come from? This is what's known as a PARADOX! Specifically, this is a TIME PARADOX! In fact, I feel like I've seen this exact TIME PARADOX before. Oh right, that's because Futurama did it first. In Futurama's first movie, the key to time travel is in a tattoo on Fry's butt. But the origin of the tattoo is cyclical, much like the idea to call the general. It was discovered on Fry's butt in the future, but it had to be transferred to Fry's butt in the past for it to have gotten onto Fry's butt in the first place. Future butt to past butt, past butt to future butt, and so on. A butt tattoo of paradoxical origin. I feel like we've gotten off topic somehow, but this paradox was not even the reason I made this video. There is a much larger and far more complex problem with the ending to Arrival. Let's consider the ending scene one more time. Louise experiences the future, in which General Shang tells her what she did to convince him to call off the Chinese army. She then uses that information to call him in the present. However, the question is, does she actually have a choice? Louise doesn't see a possible future, she sees THE future. It means that there is no other possibility. She does call the general and she does cause him to stand down. The reality presented in Arrival is therefore deterministic. Determinism is the philosophical and scientific explanation for timelines which have a single and certain future. If you want to learn more about determinism, I'll leave a quick overview of it in the description. But for our purposes, all you need to know is that Arrival presents a certain future which means that the timeline cannot be altered. And if the timeline cannot be changed, then free will does not exist. How can you be free to make a choice if the future depends on you making one particular choice, such as calling General Chang or having a baby? In Story of Your Life, Louise acknowledges that the universe is deterministic, but also posits that free will still exists. It's just that everything that happens in her future are things she wouldn't want to change. So she plays along and sticks to the script for the rest of her life. This is also true for Arrival. Louise still has free will, but she chooses to call the general. When Louise learns that her future daughter will have a short life, she decides to have her anyways because the moments spent with her daughter are some of the happiest of her life. You want to make a baby? Yes. Yeah. But again, the question is, does she really have a choice? The answer is of course no. Imagine that Louise experienced the future and instead saw that she would become an alcoholic. Do you think she wouldn't try to set the glass down before it was too late? Louise can experience the future, a certain future, and in that future, she has a daughter. It may be a future that she's happy with, but in the end, she's in a deterministic universe, and she has no choice in the matter. This seriously undercuts the film's most emotionally significant moment. 
But this doesn't make Arrival a bad film. Despite these logical inconsistencies, the story Arrival tells is heartfelt and above all, human. Beautiful cinematography, a stunning score, and incredible acting by Amy Adams still make it one of the best films of 2016. And while we're on the subject, what was your favorite movie of the year? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been the Film Herald.